Hi, I'm Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a database tour of the Literature Resource Center. In order to get to the library homepage, you can mouse over student support and click on library, or you can click on student support and scroll all the way down to more helpful services and resources, and we are listed alphabetically as library. Once on the library homepage, there are a number of ways to begin your search, including OneSearch, which is a listing of everything that we own, subscribe to, or can access in the open web. And so, as you might guess, this is very um, possibly overwhelming. So if you have a specific topic in mind, you might want to head into the databases. Before we go there, quickly, research guides are library guides that explore a variety of topics, including citation help. You can book a study room for yourself or your group. You can ask a librarian, which is 24-7 reference assistance. Um, you can talk either to an SMC librarian when we are open and not teaching, or to a librarian at um, one of our partner institutions, another college or university. If they cannot answer your question, they will leave a ticket. And when we are once again available, we will email you and ensure that you got the answer to your question. Here are our linked archived workshops and videos, including upcoming live workshops. Our upcoming events are listed here and linked. Resources, including our YouTube channel and Ask a Librarian, are linked here. Our hours and contact information updated regularly. And our social media links. So heading into the databases. First, a warning. I would not search for your topic here under Search for Databases. This searches the description of the database. So, for example, if I'm looking for Joy Harjo, the first Native American poet laureate of the United States and a personal hero, there will not be an entire database just on Ms. Harjo. There will be a database on literature. So I would search for databases on literature and then search within those databases for my topic. The more specific way or efficient way to get to this is to go into subjects instead. And under subjects, as you'll notice, it's broken down by a variety of different topics. So I'm going to head into English and about a little less than a quarter of our databases have information that could be used in an English class because English classes do literature and they also do social issues. Up at top are those databases that might be considered specific or more specific to this topic and then the further you go down you'll find a list of databases that have information that could be of use in your English class but may not necessarily be specifically literature. So when I head into Literature Resource Center, because I am looking for an author, it gives me a variety of ways to search. And these are linked across here, as well as being linked visually. You can browse for specific works. You can browse topics that go across works. You can use a topic finder where you type in your topic and either in tiles or wheel. It gives you a visual representation of your topic and the subdivisions that are attached to it by subject headings within this database. But today I'm just going to start with my topic and spell it right. When I click on Joy Harjo, I find a variety of formats of information for her. The largest one is literature criticism, critical analysis of her works. There are also biographies, both of her and of people where she is mentioned, but she's not the specific center of that biography. Work and topic overviews, news and reviews about her work, second only to literary criticism. Primary sources and literary works, which are her actual works or works that she has been a part of, for example, in an anthology. And multimedia, things like videos and audios. So I'm going to start in literature criticism, and 295 is an awful lot. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to filter it down a little. And I could have a couple of different ways to do this. If I were searching for a topic, um, for example, civil rights, I might go into subjects first. But I'm looking for a person. So I'm going to go into person about instead. And you'll notice that of these 295 or so, only 40 are specifically about Joy Harjo. Others are about other Native American authors like Sherman Alexie or Leslie Marmon Silco, um, but not specifically about her. So I want things that are specifically about her. So when I apply that filter, it takes me down from about 300 to about 40. 
So that's very helpful for narrowing it down considerably. Then within that, I can say, what kind of document am I looking at? Am I looking at an essay? Am I looking at a biography? Am I looking at a critical essay or an article in general? And when I'm doing literary work, I would probably want a critical essay. So I apply that again, and it takes me down to 30 specific literature criticisms that I can use in my work. So if I want to find out, for example, more about um, how her poetry evolved historically, I could look at this. Keep in mind the dates. These go way back. This is at the, near the beginning of her career. This is relatively current, and this in cons considers her autobiography, Crazy Brave. So when I take a look at this, it allows me to do a number of things with it. I can email it, download it, I can cite it. It tells me about the essay itself, gives me an abstract which describes it, gives me some related articles that I could also find useful, gives me related subjects. This broadens it out considerably, but it also, importantly, tells me what this is about. It's about um, a memoir of a poet, it's about a specific memoir, and it's about these specific poets. So the related subjects not only give you links to other things you can look at, but they really sort of tell you very specifically what this article itself is about. And then as you go down through this article, it's pretty in-depth. Very in-depth. And at the end, it gets its work cited that it used for the essay. So you have other things that you could trace. It gives you a citation. You can copy and paste this and then fix it when you put it in your paper to make sure you haven't missed anything. And it allows you to save it to your cloud, as well as giving you related articles to it. So this is a really great overview um, that can then dive into specific pieces of information about your topic. And once you're done with this piece, you can go back to your results and find others. You can change your search terms, you can revise your search, you can change your subjects or your types, you can search within your results for specific things. So if you have any questions as you're doing your research, please do ask a librarian and good luck with your research.